guys hello so oh so the other day right i took y'all to ikea with me to pick out an outdoor area rug for that outdoor or the screened in porch area um but the rug that i wanted they didn't have it in stock in store so i had to order it offline they delivered it today it is right over there and um behind it in the corner is another rug that i ordered um from wayfair um yeah so i want to do the whole like layered rug thing <laughs> so that's why i got two rugs for that area so i'm about to un like wrap them and lay them out and see what it looks like as far as my um outdoor coffee table i ordered my outdoor coffee table from cb2 like three months ago now at this point um so they emailed me today and said that my item is ready for delivery so i'm excited to get that it won't be for another two weeks before they deliver it but it's coming so once i have that i think i think i'll be done oh i do want to find some side tables and stuff anyway let me um unwrap 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 my rug this is a really nice rug for a really good price so i'm happy about this find and this other one that i got from my group let me show you what it looks like because i'm i'm talking too much right okay i'm gonna get to it And I love it. I absolutely love it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is it. I love the rugs. These are outdoor rugs. Of course, everything out here is outdoor. Outdoor furniture, outdoor rugs, outdoor bar stools, outdoor everything, outdoor curtains, um, with the exception of the faux plants. I know they have um, faux plants faux plants specifically made for outside or outdoor um but these are just regular faux plants um if they turn colors or whatever i don't know i'll just i'll just get some more or some like actual outdoor faux plants but everything out here is made for outdoor so yeah i i love it so what's next is like i told you guys the um what you call it the coffee table that's getting delivered in two to three weeks. So once that comes, that's really going to set it off in here. We are installing the projector tonight. So I am so excited about that. Um, yeah, and then, oh, like I said, I do want to find a, a side table for the um, chase lounges over there. And that's, that's it. It's really coming together nicely. I love it. Oh, you know what else I want to find? I want to find like a chest, like an outdoor chest to put in here somewhere so that like in the winter months, like I could just store my pillows in there. Um, like the faux plants that's on the bar over there, I could just throw them in the chest. Maybe um, the cushions and stuff. I don't know. I want something like that um, for the winter time and for like when it's like pouring, raining and stuff. But overall, I love it. I love it. It looks amazing. It looks so amazing. Wow. 
I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I love it. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys when I have another update. So it'll probably be when my coffee table comes. Oh, actually, um, the projector. I'll show you guys when it's, when it's all up and, and done and installed. What is going on, you guys? delivery today my outdoor coffee table is finally here I've waited months for it let me um put you guys right here for now Alright you guys, my coffee table is here and I love it. It goes so well in this space. It looks it looks so good. So I'm definitely um happy with this purchase. Um let's see what else. I think I think that's oh sorry for the lighting. Sorry for the lighting. I think that's it for in here. Oh my um what you call it my screen projector so we had put it up um but i had to return it because it wouldn't go back up it wouldn't like retract like when you tried to pull it down for it to go up it wouldn't go up so i had to return it um purchased a new one purchased a new one um just haven't put it up yet so hopefully in a few days um we'll get it up and then i'll show you guys what it looks like um but i love the coffee table it's so funny because the guys that just delivered my coffee my outdoor coffee table were the same guys that delivered my coffee table for the living room and one of them was like girl you be hooking this house up and i was like oh thank you um so yeah i love it i got it from uh cb2 so if you're interested i'll have the link in the description box i love it great quality nice and heavy it looks it looks so good this is exactly what i wanted yeah so what else do I want to do out here? Oh, I still haven't found my side table that I want to put next to the um, lounge chairs. I haven't found that yet. Hopefully I come across something soon in, in store or online or something like that. Um, but I think that's it for the outdoor area. I have a lot of, well, as far as like my deck and stuff, um, I have a lot of seating 
which I love because each part has a whole, it's a different vibe. Like I can come in here and chill, watch movies, watch TV once I get my projector screen back up. Um, I can come out here and take naps. I do it all the time, girl. Come out here and take naps on my little outdoor sofa. Okay, um, and then over here, I usually sit over here at night, like the fire pit and just chill and drink and, you know, converse with friends and things. Um, and then over here, I can just chill over here if I wanna eat. And then over here, when the sun is setting, I could just come outside and just lounge and lay and enjoy the sun. Um, sometimes I work over there, like, it's a lot of city, but it gives a different vibe in every section. So it's necessary. It is necessary. It's my neighbor over there, if y'all hear something. Um, yeah, I just, I love it, y'all. I love it. And um, the whole, my whole idea for this, sorry, the lighting is off again. So my whole idea for my outdoor area, I just really wanted it to be an extension of my living room. And I think, I think I, I think I did it. <laughs> I think I did it. Um, so I love it. I love it. Oh, I do want to find like an outdoor chest to put against the wall right here or something. Um, so like in a winter time, I can store the pillows and cushions and stuff. So hopefully, I come across something like that soon to put out here. It's nice and breezy. I think I actually might chill out here and enjoy the breeze. Go get my computer and just. And just relax, y'all. I love it. This is perfect. This is perfect. I love the blue um, bar stools. It ties in with the living room. You know, it matches my blue couch and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, yeah, that's it for now. I'll pick you guys back up when we have another update. Hello, you guys. It has been a minute, girl, since I vlogged. But what am I going to do today? Okay, so I want to, um, wow, my garage is so junky, but I per y'all. <laughs> Mm, I was talking for like five minutes thinking I was recording and I wasn't recording a doggone thing. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let me start over. So, today I want to start working on my canvas project. If you guys remember, I purchased this from at home um, a while ago and I want to spray paint the edges do the whole spackle art type of thing that everybody's been doing so here are my supplies i might actually need to go to michael's later and pick up some paint well i will have to go to michael's because i don't have any i don't have any paint but here is the spackle that i'll be using i got my spray paint spray paint right here so i'm about to go in the backyard and spray paint the canvas let that dry for an hour or so and then go over the spackle go over the canvas with the spackle and just see what type of 3d looking art i can come up with and then go over that with some white paint i want the entire piece to be white all white I'm not sure how that's gonna come out, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It's not gonna take me too long to spray paint, so. paint I have one in white flat and one in semi gloss I think I'm gonna spray the entire canvas with the flat first and then go over the border with the semi gloss and see how that looks
you guys. Are we in focus? Yes. All right, so it is the next day. Um, my canvas is dry. I brought it inside yesterday. I let it dry overnight. Just took it back outside. Now I'm about to put some spackle on it. I have my um, little plastic spatulas here. I don't have like a specific design in mind. Um, I probably should do that first. I think I'm gonna do that first. I think I'm gonna um, search on Pinterest just for some like quick inspiration. But I'll more than likely just like Slap the spackle up there and whatever I get, I get. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. All right, here's my canvas, nice and dry. And I'm just gonna put some spackle right on top. So I think I'm gonna take this big spatula first and like, oh wait, this big spatula ain't gonna even fit in there. All right, I'm gonna take this middle one and pretty much like try to slap as much on there as I can and then try to like make the designs with, I don't, I don't know girl, I'ma just. <laughs> Go with the flow, okay? Is that what artists do? They just they just go with the flow and just do whatever. So I'm not gonna even think too much about it. Just do it, you know? you guys I finally finished the canvas it took me about an hour and a half and <laughs> this is this is what I got <laughs> this is what I got um, is just okay I started over so many times there was one version that I loved so much but the corner was bothering me so I tried to touch up the corner ended up having to redo the entire thing but anyway this is what i have hopefully it goes hopefully it goes well in my room um i'm gonna let it sit i'm not gonna keep it out here but i'm gonna keep it out here for a little while just because i um went over the border again sorry for the lighting i can't get the lighting right all right so i'm gonna keep it out here for about an hour to let it dry some because i just did go over the border again with the spray paint so I'm gonna let that dry then bring it in the house or in the garage um, and let it completely dry overnight sorry my neighbor is mowing his lawn um, but yeah I like it I just don't love it but I'll see when it's completely dry um, then, I, then I'm going to go over it with um, some white paint and like seal it in and stuff but I just wish I hadn't messed up that last version. Ugh, that's why it took me so long. And then after a while, like the spackle starts to harden up, so it's hard to move around and things like that. It's just, uh, but it looks okay for my first time. My very first time ever trying this. So like I said, we'll see what it looks like once I'm completely done with the project. All right, you guys, I am at Michael's 
to pick up some paint and a paintbrush so I can finish this the paint right here so I can finish the canvas that I started working off in my bedroom so I'm just picking up some regular white paint and a paintbrush and um, keeping it super simple and then when I get home hopefully I can finish up this piece and hang it up and then my bedroom will be 100% done so about to oops i'm about to paint my canvas um here is the finished product of the um what you call it spackle um this is a little design that i got i went to michael's and got me some paint and paint brushes now i'm just going to go ahead and paint the canvas i'm going to paint it right here because it's been raining um all day outside and it's super it's super wet out there so i'm just gonna paint it right here i don't think i'll get any paint on the counters i'll be you know i think i can be pretty careful so yeah i'm gonna get to it let it dry overnight and then i'll hang it up tomorrow minutes not long at all so this is what it looks like it looks pretty good it's kind of bright um there you go yeah so that's what it looks like so i'm gonna let this dry overnight and hang it up in the morning and we'll see what it looks like i think it's gonna look pretty good i'm excited about it so what am i doing okay so the canvas so i let that dry it's been like two days actually <laughs> this is what it looks like it looks pretty pretty good since it's all white like you guys really can't see like the camera is like really not picking it up um what it really looks like but it looks really good in person so i'm going to put it on my dresser so i'm not going to hang it up immediately i'm just going to put it on my dresser just to you know get a feel um of what it looks like because i am going to hang it up with a wall anchor so i just want to make sure that i'll actually like it first before i put a hole in my wall so that's what i'm gonna do now i actually need two hands so i'll be right back I like it. I think it looks pretty good. The lighting is so off. Maybe do I need to turn on the lights? That's the lights on. Is that better? Sort of, kind of. No, not really. Maybe I need to turn y'all this way right there. You should see it made it. I made it. white is giving the all white is giving it is giving love it trying to get the lighting right for y'all but I like it I like it I feel like I need like 
it's more like 3D abstract effect. But it's gonna stay like this for now.
Hello? Can I speak to to Michael? Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, I feel kind of silly doing this, but uh, this is the waitress from the coffee house on 39th and Lennox. You know, the one with the braids? Yeah. Well, I see you on Wednesdays all the time. You come in every Wednesday on your lunch break, I think. And you always order the special with the hot chocolate. My manager be tripping himself though, man. You gotta use water, but I always use some milk and cream for you, cause. <laughs>
enjoyed the long awaited fully furnished house house tour um wow my battery's about to die hold on one second <laughs> all right you guys my bad i'm back <laughs> y'all know my battery is always dying but like i was saying i hope that you guys enjoyed the long awaited fully furnished house tour i just wanted to say thank you guys so so much for watching my channel for liking for always being there every monday waiting to enjoy my content i appreciate you guys so so much i just wanted to come up here really quickly and say thank you to everyone who has been in my corner my family my friends i've had several conversations with them privately but i did want to come up here and give my thanks publicly on this public public platform um thank you chelsea Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Chelsea. Like, I just have no words. I have no words for Chelsea, but thank you, girl, so much. To my sister, 
my sister thank you i love you so much thank you valerie um for listening to me vent um and always giving your ideas and your thoughts and your love and just being com company from miles and miles away thank wow why am i about to cry <laughs> Girl, okay. Y'all know, if you don't know, now you know, I'm a very emotional person. So, let me get it together. Thank you for being there from miles away, just keeping me company miles away. Like, sitting there on FaceTime with me for hours while I paint cabinets and <laughs> just thank you. Valerie, I love you. Um, Farah, thank you, Farah. Wow, she literally got her hands dirty with me multiple times. That girl has been on the roof <laughs> with me, okay? And not a lot of people gonna risk their life for their friends, but thank you, Fair, for just always just being there. Like, my friends are just the bomb.com, okay? Thank you to my aunts, my uncles, my cousins for always giving your advice and your suggestions. Y'all are amazing. Thank you to my sisters, my mom. I love you so much. Thank you, everyone. And thank you to Ken, Chelsea's dad, for giving me a head start in this home and making it livable for me prior to my uncle coming. And thank you for teaching me. Um, and thank you for just loving me like I was your own. Thank you so, so much. Tony, to my brother. Wow, Tony, man, <laughs> I have no words for you. Thank you. Like, you you made this process so easy for me you made it so very enjoyable i wish you guys knew tony in person he's a comedian um thank you for spending your saturdays here with me and my uncle um thank you for just offering your help and your expertise thank you so 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 much i could not have done this without you and last but not least the man the myth the legend Uncle Chocolate, wow. To my dear uncle, wow. I am about to cry. Mm-mm, mm-mm, Uncle Chocolate, thank you so, so much for loving me and whoa. <laughs> Dang, y'all, I did not want to cry in this video. Mm -mm, no. Thank you, Uncle Chocolate, for, man, for all of your hard work, for loving me, for making sure that I am always 100% happy with everything in my home. Thank you for taking the time out away from your family, your wife, your home to coming to spend weeks at a time here with me. Thank you, just thank you. Like, <sighs> you really helped me transform this house into a home. And I thank you so, so much. And I am thankful for the time we got to spend together. Thank you for teaching me. I am so grateful for the memories that we created in this home while transforming and thank you for the jokes and the laughter and the stories. Wow. Thank you, just thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so, so much. Yeah, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I can go on and on and on and on and on and on about my uncle. He is just an amazing, an amazing man. Whew. Okay. And with that being said, this will be my very last video on YouTube. It is just that time for me, y'all. It is that time for me to lay YouTube to rest. Um, I am just so thankful again for all of the support throughout the years. Thank you to everyone who has been with me, no, ma no matter what part of my journey you started watching, just thank you. There are people out there who have watched me from the very, very beginning um, of me as a baby in college till now, you know? So you have literally watched me 
grow up and glow up <laughs> Uh, so thank you everyone. I appreciate you. Thank you for liking my content. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting Thank you just for being an extended support system I appreciate you guys so so much um, If you want to continue to keep up with me, you can follow me on Instagram at April B underscore B with two E's um, You can follow my business page at second look. I'll have all the links uh, down in the description box but yeah this is the end of my youtube career and i feel like now was a great point uh for me to transition um so i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed my content however i do want you guys to jam out with me one last time to aretha i know a lot of you guys have grown to really dislike this song but i love it so much so I got my wine right here. We gonna rock out. It don't matter where you at. If you at home, on the couch, in the bed, if you at work in your cubicle with your headphones on, just jam out with me one last time. You don't gotta do too much. Just a little, just a little rock. Just a little rock. So I'm gonna turn on Aretha really quick, okay? When I wake up. Thank you again so, so much. I love you guys forever. You will forever, forever, forever be in my heart. Thank you guys so, so much. And with that being said, thank you for watching. I love you. God bless. Bye.